I currently have three books I'm in the middle of and I am determined to finish them all by the end of this week aka like Saturday night when I go to bed I don't want to have these books on my like currently reading list anymore when I wake up on Sunday I do not want to have these books on my currently reading list and today today that I'm starting this kind of challenge for myself it is Tuesday I've been thinking about this um, this seemed a lot more attainable yesterday and Sunday, you know, Sunday before I went to work and the world was my oyster. Um, but it is currently Tuesday and I am exhausted and I just got off of work and I, yesterday I got off of work and then I sat on my phone for an hour and a half, um, and didn't actually do anything besides that. Hi, my name is Carly. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I like to talk about books and stuff. And today, as we saw previously, I am trying to finish three books in what is it to Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday five days okay I can finish three books in five days I also am like pretty much close to finishing all of them so so it is achievable I just kind of do it um and that's going to be kind of the goal the, the goal the theme of this week because there's other things that i just need to do i just need to do like i just i just need to do books books i'm in the middle of first one first one here the first one i've got the book in the i, I am in the middle of is a black Hate, but it's it, the god of the woods i am on page 402 out of like four 70 something 476 I'm on page 42 so I've got like 70 ish pages left of this book I can totally read that the only thing that keeps me putting me off from this is that like it stresses me out so I really and, but it's like it and I get sucked into it and I don't want to stop reading so I'm like always trying to wait for times when I can like sit down and just read which doesn't happen very often and I don't get myself very often but I am I've been slowly reading this this month for like this book club but like it's the end of the month and I just want to get it done with. I am ready to see the ending of this and I know we're getting to that, that part and like it's stressing me out. Don't know this book is about this girl who has gone missing from summer camp and it is 1975 and so we're getting a lot of different perspectives of just people around this camp, her family, the investigator. I've been seeing a lot of mixed stuff on it so far. I'm still really enjoying it, um, but I also don't read mystery thriller books ever. Um, so I think me not having as much experience with this genre makes it a little bit more of an enjoyable read for me. Um, but we're getting to the end part, which is where I've seen a lot of more complaints about, I guess I would say. So we'll see how I feel. I already did spoil myself. That's probably why I don't read mystery thriller stuff so I already spoiled myself on one of the uh, mysteries and the second one I have some very strong thoughts about so that's book one next book is on my kindle it is All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Mariana Zapata Zapata Zap, Zapata I and 73% of this I've been reading it at night like it's the book that I'm reading and then fall asleep to but um I'm a little ready for it to be on but I am so far really really enjoying it it's but this girl named Aurora and after a frankly terrible breakup she ends up back in the small town in Colorado where she had grown up and kind of goes from there it's really slow burn like literally it was like 50% of the way through before we finally got any hints of like romance like our main character has been very attracted to the male lead Rhodes but nothing has really happened between the two and now like we're getting like the flirty-ish bits and I am literally late in bed like kicking my feet at some of the stuff that is like happening between the two it's so cute and it's such like it's slow burn like this is a very long romance book I've been really enjoying it I think a few complaints I have so far are like Rhodes has some nicknames for her and one of them is Buddy and I just you're gonna call your girl like 33 year old girl you have a crush on Buddy like that that that's not romantic to me 
buddy. <sighs> not romantic to me. And then another one that kind of seems to be popping up a little bit more is that there's all these like time, it's not all of them. There's these time skips happening now that weren't necessarily happening beforehand, um, which on one hand, one of my pet peeves with romances is that people fall in love um, in like the matter of like a month. And that always kind of gets on my nerves, but so it's one hand I am enjoying that this is taking over months that they're kind of establishing this. But now that we're like doing time skips, like suddenly in the book where I'm just at, it's suddenly Thanksgiving and last I knew I thought it was like end of summer. So it, we've got some differences happening there. And so the time skips are not my favorite, but I do enjoy that we're this relationship is going to be established over months and not just like a month. So either way, I'm still like really enjoying that one, but I'm so close to finishing it and I'm ready to finish it. And then the last one I've got, I don't even need my phone to look at it. I am listening to Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez M and I'm about 58% of the way through that one. This is the one that I'm worried about because I don't listen to audiobooks that often and I'm kind of bored with it. Like it's good. I'm enjoying it. But like at 50% of the way through, I feel like a lot of the main plot bits are done. Like I, I literally remember like hearing like one of the main things kind of got what I thought was one of the main things got wrapped up. And I was like, is this book almost over? I don't feel like I've been listening to it that long. And then I looked and it was like, what 30 to 50 percent of the way through I can't quite remember I was just like oh like where where do we go from here um so I'm kind of getting a little bored with it um I could just not really be in the mood for it I don't know um but I do want to finish it uh I just I feel like lots of things happened in the beginning and I'm I don't really know or understand or care about where things are gonna go after so that's that one and yeah those are the books i am bound and determined to read by saturday night here's hoping i can do it just got home from work. It was kind of a shit show at work today. We, um, I don't know what the heck our tech people are doing and we've already been like one foot out the door with these tech people and now we're just fully out the door but like no not fully out the door because like we're, we haven't gotten a new tech person. Anyway they've done stuff, new stuff, and it's been one issue after another which culminated and like yesterday we were not able to log on to call the server and um then we finally were after my co-worker sat on the phone with them for an hour um she would not let them hang up on her either and then today all of a sudden this afternoon we couldn't log on again <laughs> they didn't know what was up which is so so helpful like we couldn't really do anything which is nice so nice but i'm home now it has been pouring rain all day except for now of course but it is still kind of the perfect weather to, fin to read a book so I'm planning to finish The God of the Woods today like that is gonna be done I am so close to being finished I can I can do that I can I can finish that and then yeah I also was listening to yours truly on my drive to and from work today the dr that makes it sound like I drive very far I don't it's like maybe a five fish minute drive 10 minutes drive maybe not very long not very long so when i say i listened i only listened to a little bit and thought we were kind of getting some interesting things and now it looks like we're having like some miscommunication and here i am thinking that i don't really mind miscommunication like but then i also started thinking i don't think i've ever like i don't really read books that have miscommunication so either i do really mind it 
and I'm just really good at picking books that don't have the trope or that trope doesn't like isn't a big huge deal of it or I really don't mind it I don't know I don't know what I'm saying I'm really I'm kind of hungry I'm a little brain fried I just want to read either way it sounds like a little bit of miscommunication is happening right now I like 50% of the way through the book so I'm like again what is going to happen like what is there to happen I don't know I don't know I'm just I'm tired I'm gonna finish my book <laughs> one book down just finished all right I don't know what day it is it is it is Thursday it is Thursday I don't think I updated yesterday after I finished the god of the war I am cold excuse me um so I finished that so one book is done I ended up giving it a four out of five stars it was I enjoyed it and it was a really quick read and I enjoyed it had it spoke a lot about women's issues so you followed multiple women and it just kind of you saw different aspects of womanhood and kind of misogyny and that that kind of stuff and it was interesting it was it was really interesting and then the mystery it was fine I guess I didn't fully expect what happened on one mystery but I already knew like the main mystery so anyway I gave it a four out of five stars I saw a lot of complaints about the ending and it being anticlimactic and it is but the quietness that I from the ending I did not hate does it make a lot of sense the ending not really but like yeah I didn't hate the ending but I'm also not like a mystery girly like I don't really read mysteries and so yeah enjoyed that so glad that's done though and off my plate other updates I read very little of all roads lead to you and oh my gosh oh my gosh they just had a conversation where they said to each other they liked each other and it was so refreshing to read like this is a very like mature story so to speak like these female is like 33 and the male is 42 so they're definitely older and they've had a lot of experiences and our male lead is a father and a very interesting situation there but yeah so they're older they have all this experience and they kind of know what they like and what they don't like and how they want to take things and so this relationship that's been building between the two has been so slow and quiet and it's been fun to read and now that we've gotten to the part where like this is kind of getting a little flirty and stuff he has me like kicking my little feces at night and then last night I read the part where they had a conversation about how they liked each other and it was so refreshing to read and it was so nice and uh, yeah I really really liked it but I did not read a whole lot I think I'm about 76% of the way through so I need to get on that reading and then I listened to quite a bit of yours truly and that one I just I'm so tired of the miscommunication I'm like I am 69% of the way through and yeah there's been like cute moments and I kind of got my hopes up in that like finally they would talk and they didn't and so they each are thinking two different things and it would be best explained if like one of them would just come out with it and not come out with like I like you because they, they're basically doing that right now saying I like you and then you see inside their minds of them being like but he doesn't like me like that she doesn't like me like that and it's so it is so frustrating like they could be cute like I was really feeling this up until like the 50% mark and now I'm just kind of exhausted I will try to get more reading done today but um I said yesterday was kind of a shit show at work it's just been kind of a shit show at work all week and it's all tech related stuff and it's so frustrating and then today my boss and my coworker had a meeting with one client and that one client like trying to organize everything it's just like a mess so they literally in the meeting like so my my co-worker they met at like my co-worker spent all morning like trying to get things ready for this meeting and then in the middle of the meeting um she runs out of the room and gives me a bunch of stuff and it's like hey make sure we have everything we need so then my or um kind of admin person walks back and she sees me sitting on the ground with all his papers like round me because that is the only way I can like organize and handle this guy's stuff and so after that then we had like another meeting about internal stuff and then 
my boss left and the rest of us like did not do anything. I sent an email and that was that day. So I'm not as loopy as I was yesterday, but I'm still feeling a little loopy. And uh, so I've just been sitting here watching YouTube videos since then. Um, you okay? And I don't know if I want to read it all. And tonight, tonight is season premiere of 911 and I am so excited, so excited. And so I don't know how much reading is gonna get done between now, which is 5.15 and 8 p.m. So three hours I could do reading, but I can also watch YouTube. And I feel like I deserve YouTube right now. like haven't done anything today except for um play my silly little video games on my phone which truth be told does not make me feel great but we're gonna be kinder to ourselves we're gonna try to be kinder to ourselves but i am planning on i think i'm gonna go for a run a little run walk i haven't been on one in a few couple of years so this is not gonna be any extreme thing this is just gonna be me getting out of the house because that will make myself feel better and give me a reason to listen to yours truly because truth be told I had like a little mini goal that I was hoping to maybe finish my the rest of my books by like before Saturday that did not happen but I am almost done with all roads lead here I am like 93% I am about to read the last chapter okay so that is definitely getting done today and then yours truly 74 percent so that is also a very doable thing to finish today overall still enjoying all roads lead to you um they left the kind of like third act issues for the very very end but again like this just being like a mature story is nice because even though we had the quote-unquote third act break up there wasn't really like a breakup it was just very clearly two people that have are hurting and need a little bit of space not like any unreasonableness there so that was really refreshing to read yours truly is still annoying me I looked up some I looked up Goodreads reviews and I saw quite a few that I also agreed with in that really liked the first half like literally very like first 50 percent was great it was exactly what i was looking for i really enjoyed it it had some good things going for it and then the second half is where everything just goes Whoo! because this whole miscommunication thing is old it's so old i am so tired of it oh my god like i am i'm so over it just talk just just have a conversation and like if the mis this mis miscommunication thing wasn't going on it'd be great like this would be a great book i like the characters i like the relationship they're building with each other except i constantly have to listen to them say they don't like me that way they don't like me that way and it's literally just repeated over and over and over again and that is what is annoying me is that i don't know how many times each chapter and each point of view it's just a repeated mantra of like they don't like me that way I could almost believe that they like me that way and it's like oh my god they're both literally out here being like i like you and then the other one is like i they don't like me that way it's it's getting so so old so hopefully on my little run walk get out of the house get my body moving thing i can get a good chunk of that listen but i can hear my stomach growling so i need to eat something and my phone kind of needs to finish charging a little bit more because um Spending a couple hours playing phone games um, kind of makes the battery go down. Who knew? I got back from <coughs> my run, walk. I ran a little bit, mostly walked, but it was more about getting outside, doing something new, and getting my body moving. So we're gonna be happy with what I did. We just got out of the shower, it's like 2 p.m. now, and that's, that's what I've done with my day. But I listened to quite a bit of the book. I was gone for like, I was gone for like, 
40 ish minutes I think I didn't really look at the time I got up to about I think it said 86 percent I am just happy that the sex scene happened while I was listening to earphones and not while I was listening to it while driving home because I will usually end up driving home with my windows open and I've been worried about that so glad that happened but they finally like talked and I still have like 15% of the book left so like what now is going to happen like seriously what is what, what now is going to happen because I don't know how much more I can handle I I will definitely finish listening to it but right now I just want to eat and I kind of want to play some video games so I'm gonna go do that and not read right now Oh my god, that's so stupid. But I did it. I completed three books this week. Okay, well, I finished three books this week. It is now Sunday morning, and last night I did finally finish All Roads Lead Here and Yours Truly. Though Yours Truly was getting a little close there. I did not think I was going to finish it because it was like 8 p.m. and I still hadn't finished it, um, listening to it. But I did it. And I'm so glad to get them off of my list, and now I can start reading other books. Do a little wrap up. I'm gonna, I think, rank my books and give you my last minute, last thoughts on these books. So in third place, I have Yours Truly. I ended up giving this book a two and a half, two star. That second half was not good. Like usually miscommunication trope does not bother me, but like this was just over and over. I couldn't even enjoy like the cute moments because it was constantly being bombarded with, but he doesn't like me that way, but she doesn't like me that way. It was so annoying. And this is coming from someone, like I said, that does not get, usually feel this annoyed by it, but I was so annoyed by it. And then, um, this is gonna be a spoiler, but there's accidental pregnancy in it. And like, here I am, I've literally never read an accidental preg pregnancy trope until now. This is like, you are witnessing me reading accidental pregnancy, pregnancy for the first time. And I know I didn't know what like my thoughts were on it, but um, combined with the miscommunication that was so bad, this accidental pregnancy was just, just kind of toppled it. Like it was already toppled. This was just another cherry on top of a toppled sandwich. Ugh. Ugh. The first part was so good. And then, um, then right after it started reading the author's note, I was like, okay, maybe this will explain because it kind of literally starts off with her being like, this is a very personal story. So I was like, cool. Like maybe this will give more context to the whatever the hell happened in the second half. And I stopped listening once she mentioned that she herself had been going through kidney failure. And I was like, okay, well, the kidney failure part ended like 50% of the way through. So I am thoroughly disappointed in this book. Thoroughly. It was so disappointing to the point that like I never want to pick up a nap, uh, Abby Jimenez book. Um, that feels very strong. I'm like mad at this book for how disappointing it was. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. That was not a good book. Second place, ooh. Second place is going to be The God of the Woods. Um, this was the mystery one. I think it's getting second place because I didn't give this four stars. And it's getting second place because I feel like while I really enjoyed it and I gave it four stars, I feel like there are things where it could have just gone in a little deeper and yeah um but I did like the themes of womanhood and misogyny and how women are treated in society especially in the context of the 50s 60s and 70s I thought that was interesting but yeah I did enjoy it but it was kind of hard to choose between that one and my first place which is going to be All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zabata I also ended up giving that book a four stars I thoroughly enjoyed the slow burn of it all. It felt very mature. We had these two people who are in certain parts of their lives, specifically Aurora, our main character, um, and her just learning how to be herself again after years of being in some really not great situations. And so that was super nice. And then, yeah, I just, I didn't, I liked that it wasn't insta lovey. You could see the relationship build um, and Rhodes said some of the, the cutest things ever. Like, he was so romantic. He would open his mouth and like, I would be kicking my little feet. It was so cute. And so yeah, I really enjoyed watching their relationship grow and their characters themselves 
grow. So that was super nice to read. My kind of cons with it were there seemed to be time jumps, not like extreme extreme, but it'd be like <sighs> at Thanksgiving the chapter ends with them getting to the house. They're going to Thanksgiving and the next chapter is like two weeks later. And then you kind of get caught up on that and then the, that chapter ends and it's like two weeks later and then you get caught it was kind of that sort of thing and then my other thing was that I felt like some really big plot points all came in literally the last like 10% of the book and I wish those had been sort of sprinkled out a little bit further instead of having it like all happen bang 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 and so yeah and then another thing is Rhodes had pet names for her Angel and Buddy. And you want to know why he calls her Buddy? Because she reminds him of Buddy the Elf. I will never be over that. That isn't, that's not romantic for me. That is stupid. I'm sorry. Buddy? I, because Buddy the Elf. Oh, I cannot take that seriously. But overall, thoroughly enjoyed it. Will absolutely want to be picking up another book by her. Those are those three books. I am so glad to get them off my like reading list and to have finished them before September ended and I'm so excited moving forward. If you've read those please let me know what you thought of them. That is that for me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. I hope it is good and I will see you guys again with another video soon. Bye!